Hey, it's another edition of Shift Work, brought to you by Russell Steaks, Chops, and More. And Ron DiGiore is the owner, founder of Picasso's Pizza. Ron, thanks for being a part of this today. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. Pleasure. You know, we've been learning a lot about entrepreneurs and their history and their association with Buffalo. Picasso's has a great story. Can you share some of that? My brothers and I started in business in 1970. My family started in business in 1927. Uh, my grandfather came from the old country and started the first pizzeria in Buffalo, Santora's Pizzeria. It was on Seneca Street, uh, diagonally across from Chef's Restaurant. In 1980, we decided to change and open up the Picasso pizza chain. Mm -hmm. We've been in business for 49 years. My family's been in business for 93 years, and Picasso's is 39 years young. <laughs> Almost to that big 40th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Buffalo is a, a very unique place, but you could do this elsewhere. You could take pizza to other places. Why do you continue to, to stay in Buffalo? What's, what's so special about it to you? Well, we were born and raised here. Uh, we have a love of the city. The city's been supportive to our business. If we had some opportunities to go to Florida, but we never, we never did. We just uh, stayed here. We raised our families and we worked our business and we're not as successful as Russ Salvatore, but uh, we made a comfortable living. You know, much like um, Russ has given you a lot of advice on, on doing the things the way you do, what advice would you give someone who's opening a business or trying to expand or you know, continuing to grow their business? Russell has been a mentor uh, to me and to our business, and he's been a great help. My advice to anybody that's gonna go on business, and it doesn't matter if it's food service or if it's non-food service, it's important to understand your window of working hours that you produce your money. For example, in food service, you're gonna be working at night. You're gonna be working on the weekends going to be working Sundays, you're going to be working holidays. So if you want to do that and your partner can accept that, then that's fine. But people go on business and don't understand uh, their window of working. What about working with family? What, what's your advice to people that maybe are going to try that? <clears throat> My brothers and I have been in business 49 years. It's not easy. What worked for us is that everybody had their own job. So if you had a job, you take care of it, we don't question it. I had a job, I take care of it, don't question it. Where you interact with each other's decisions is where you have the problems. So here in Buffalo, you know, it is all about family. How, how do you continue to grow and uh, pass things on? I know um, the younger generation is coming up, so how are they going to redefine what Picasso's does? We have two young people that are, uh, are going to succeed us and, and keep the company going. It's, one is my son, Michael, and the other one is my uh, nephew, Mark Jr. They're much more advanced in, in uh, computers and uh, FaceTime and texting and all the stuff that young people use today. We did business the old way. Uh, hand wrote everything, advertising the penny saver. You can't do that today. You have to be uh, able to take online orders and to get your message in social media. If there's anything you want to see years from now in Buffalo, whether it's the pizza industry or just Buffalo in general, what do you hope to see? Well, Russell and I always say that we never thought downtown Buffalo would come back to where it was years ago. And lo and behold, it has. And I would like to see Buffalo to continue to thrive and keep up with all the modern cities that they have. Well, Ron, thank you so much. Certainly a great story and congratulations on all your success. Thank you for having me. Yeah, appreciate all the help. Appreciate it. And I look forward to another exciting edition of Shift Work here at WYRK.com, brought to you by Russell Steaks, Chops, and more.